Hello everyone, last time we did this piglin endless challenge thing. I actually lost because I died in piglin. So this time around we need piglin. So I need to do better. So here we go. This is going to be challenging. I'm on a higher difficulty this time. Well, I want more refreshes, so we're going to take more refreshes. Here we go. So here's the Peglin map we're working with. Alright. Here goes the first round. How does the quality look? Okay. So we're going to need a bit more money before we can drop our Undying, and then Undying can clear the enemies. I kind of wish it was still 33% cheaper, because then I would be able to place my Undying in time to deal with these Whimsums. But because of the fact that they decrease the effectiveness of titles, that's not an option. Anyway, let's go back into the more important game, because this is the game I care about here. So, what does one extra refresh mean? Well, refreshes also get replaced every time one of them is destroyed. So, if you have more on the map, you have a higher chance of getting extended tosses with your attacks. That's exactly what we want. So here the enemies come, trying to kill us, I'm sure. Little do they know that's probably a terrible idea. Why would you want to kill us? We, we are the best. In Roblox, we have Undying here, who's just brought to level 2, meaning she should be able to repel most attackers for the time being. Of course, that's not enough for us. We have something else planned there, but we need more money. Let's go right in the middle. Hit the bomb. And kill another slime. Reload, that wasted a turn, unfortunately. Drop a knife. And maybe we'll get a critical. We do! Managing to one-shot the enemy at 20 health. That, admittedly, probably wasn't very impressive. But that's fine, because we have Mad Mew Mew now. Boosting our income. Can we hit- can we hit the bomb? Bomb? No, okay. I'll hit it right to the side so that it'll actually lean a little to the right. Look at that. The bomb, minus 50 in all of them, and then we kill the slime in the front. Then we're going to hit the refresh. And we didn't actually kill that slime, that's unfortunate. But we can manage. I will place a bunch of decoy Shirens, the enemies don't know who to deal with. And then for my actual plot, I will drop a Glide right here, along with a Snowdrake Mom. There we go, that should cover any sort of unexpected enemies. Oh my gosh, that was a- really? Six damage? Okay, now I take you the more hits. Okay, that, that that was not a good turn for us. We are not bouncing the way I want to bounce with these rocks. Dead. Now the enemy will get closer, but now we have a knife. Dead. Ooh. The slime orb. Yeah, not wanted. Okay. There are a lot of mini-bosses in one concentrated area. I could go right all the way to the treasure, then left. Okay. Let's do it. Maintain right. I'm curious if Undyne will sell something important to me. She didn't sell Reaper Bird, any Shirens, Mom, or Glide. So in total, she didn't sell anything that I care about. Okay. Then we can switch sides again and go back into this game. We're going to drop a rock right here. 
smash and then another right on the bomb with the power of the bomb we bring every enemy to low health now we have two turns until they strike back so we need to detonate this bomb there we go and now all the enemies are dead and an Undertale Tower Defense, nothing important happening. I see no reason to take any of these orbs. Like, this is a super high damage orb, but I don't really want it, so... Yeah, I'll pass. To the right. Ooh, check behind the waterfall. A stronger monster. Do 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 proper damage so now that they've taken some proper damage they're shocked as plants they are shocked okay 44 still nothing's happening in undertale tower defense so we can continue to focus on killing the plants and with that the first plant is gone and we don't get attacked that turn very nice there's a refresh here. Can we hit it? We can. Refreshing everything. Only 22 that turn. A little disappointing, but I think we'll make up for it with this strike. Okay, 54. Not good, honestly. Maybe we can get a better attack here. The answer is no, we can't. Knife, come on. 133. Marvelous. And now that we've done the big damage, you will die here and now. One plant remaining. Let's also refresh everything. I figure that would be ideal. 28. Looks like Metaton EX is almost dead. As soon as he gets back into her range. Whoops. Bad Mimi, you better be making me rich. You better. I'm sure that Mad Mimi has made me rich. Okay, everything gets sold, and my least favorite map encounter. Very nice, thank you so much. I, I was actually telling everyone that I wanted my least favorite map encounter, and that I would be so sad if I didn't get it. Let's go Glide 2 for good measure. There, that should be enough money to throw at everything. Well, obviously I'll bring Undying up a level. But that's going to take a couple more attacks from her. Okay, Undying, just focus the strongest. I don't care about anything else. Also, I guess place down Decoy Shirens for Undying. You're going to make me bring you to level 3. Fine. Rock. There. Another rock. You just don't know how to fight rocks, do you? Well, you're a plant, so you're kind of dumb. Not as smart as a rock. Rocks are known for their intelligence. Bounce, bounce. 
crit. Okay, we're almost done killing this plant. Just a little more, just a little more. Darn it. One more hit and it's dead. Critical. And look at that whole map just got replenished. I believe this is the part where you beg me for mercy. But there is none because I'm not a character from Overwatch. Ooh. Whenever I lose health, deal that to enemies. Sure, you know what? I'll take it. You know what? I'm thinking of changing it up. Let's go left, right, right. Here we go. Minotaur. I suppose I'm supposed to be afraid of you, but you only have 400 health. I don't think I'm afraid of 400 health, but go ahead and prove me wrong. Make me afraid. You better do it fast, because I just did 90 damage to you on my first hit. Don't waste any time on showing me that I'm wrong. Well, at least the rock doesn't hurt you much, right? Then we'll go rock here. 10, 12, 18. 22, okay. Oh no, I'm reloading! You get a chance to get closer to me. Please don't hurt me. Eighteen. Refresh. Six, okay. Oh no, it's right there in front of me. I better not mess up here or it will raise its weapon menacingly. 100. Then I think I'll go right here. Yeah, I'm just surprisingly, the tower defense game is easy. 2500. Have I really not taken any damage yet? That's surprising. But I don't have enough money to make me think that true determination triggered, so... Yeah, I'll just assume I haven't... Oh, look at that, you died. Sorry! Power Glove, let's go! 2 the right. Okay. Yeah, I want more max health. We need to take care of this tree. It'll heal me or whatever. Now I want to go to the right. Here we go. Another mini boss. Okay, so last time we fought, you actually did a number on me. I, I will admit it. You hurt me, but this time I have a power glove. So, I don't think you're going to be able to win. That was a regular rock right there. Now imagine what I could do with a knife. Oh shoot, apparently nothing with the knife. That's awkward. Well, let's just get another refresh in. Very nice. I refreshed right before the rock was done, right in time for it to take two steps towards me because I'm reloading. Sorry friend, but I do not want to lose this. Shoot, I'm getting desperate now. It's getting way too close for comfort. Critical. Refresh. 48. Here we go. This has to be a good knife. 
where I'm in serious trouble. 140. I don't know if I'm going to survive a single hit from this. I really don't. Does it? I survived with exact. This is my last chance to kill it. Here we go. I killed it with one health remaining. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'll take the heal. I, I usually wouldn't, but you know, this time I will. Powder, let's go. It would have been so awkward if I had fallen into the fire and died. How are we doing in this game? Are we killing Muffet? Sort of. Sort of. Feels like we're missing something, but I don't think we are. Oh, Undyne sold one of my Shirens. Anyway, based off of that, I feel like Metaton EX is actually a significant threat to us, so I need to keep that in mind. If I upgrade Undyne to level 3, that should mitigate the threat. And then to be extra safe, I'll drop two more Goliaths. That should guarantee that we get through the next wave. Okay, so... Right, I think I go through the middle here. Deal a mediocre dam amount of damage to the bat. And then I drop a rock right in here and bomb the heck out of these four. And then a new one appears, minus 66. Excellent. And then we'll go with another rock. I think these rocks are pretty capable of dealing with bats, so let's keep using them. Dead. And now this bat approaches. Didn't you just see what happened to your bat friend? And you really want to approach me? At least you didn't see, or the one that recently died didn't see me kill four bats at once. You, you saw me kill another one. So really, that should make you afraid of me, Bat. Oh no, it's not afraid of me, and I'm reloading. Okay, critical. You will wish that you were afraid of me. Dead. How are we doing here? There's Metaton EX, and Metaton EX is indeed dying to the combination of Glide and Undying. Glide actually isn't doing significant damage compared to Undying, but still, Glide is contributing. Dead. So clearly from now on I need to bring Undying to level 3 if I want safety against whatever threats we're dealing with. Let's go ahead and check out what we're doing for wave 11. Okay, stronger monsters. Drop an Undying. Drop a Mad Mew Mew. Drop a Shiren right here. A Glide level. You know what, I'm feeling level 4. And then wrap up with some decoy shirens. From now on, we sh it should be profitable to upgrade Mad Mew Mew, so I'm also going to upgrade Mad Mew Mew whenever I can. Let's see. So back to the game I actually care about. Let's go rock upgrade. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't actually really matter which one I go into, so... There we go. Let's have Undyne prioritize strongest. There we go. Oh, whoops, I forgot to open the treasure. 15 maximum health. Thank goodness. Let's get our value out of that ring. I already got tons of value that Minotaur was beating itself up. Okay, Mad Mimi is now level 3, so plus 50% value of enemies she hits. 
Okay, this is the weak rock, so let's not even worry about the weak rock and just go for the knife. Yeah, we one-shot that slime. Let's go for another one-shot with our upgraded stone. There we go. One-shotted. Now we'll refresh everything, and all these bounces are creating a nice amount of bombs. You can never have enough bombs when you're killing red slimes. Yep, you're dead. Oh look at that, Mad Mew Mew! You're level 4! Meaning now enemies give times 2 gold when you hit them. This is the strong stone, okay. Let's go for it then. Dang. Well, with the bomb, it kills anyway. Oh, look at that critical location. Nice and convenient. I think you're dead. Unless you can survive 400 damage when you're at 30 health. Upgraded stone. Now I want to go to the side there. Mad Mimi might be able to be level 5 now, let's see, nope. Okay, I hate these little plant creatures, so let's make quick work of them if we can. 200 to start. Ouch. At least that hits everyone. Looks like it hit them for 10. Oh nice, I hit the bomb. That's actually fantastic. Oh my gosh, okay. It's a shame I didn't kill the front one. Okay, but we can recover, we can recover. 128. I reload and take damage. Hit them for, I guess, a noteworthy amount. Please refresh or something valuable. It didn't. Ouch. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go right through here and see what happens. 100, okay. One of these enemy thing, uh, enemy plant things remaining. Thank goodness for the refresh. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to score a refresh. This might actually be a kill. Triple bomb plus, yep, that's a kill. Back in this game, level 5 Mad Mew Mew, times 3 value, let's go. Back in here, uh, let's upgrade, or wait, who's the boss, who's the boss, that actually matters a lot. It's that thing, it will probably damage me a little, I'm going to take the health. Perfect, the mantle, mental mantle, has a ton of value. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can make the difference between a winning or, or a lost and winning run. Hello, Minotaur. Minotaur. Minotaurus. Minotaurist. Yeah, that's right. I know that you're secretly a tourist. Boom, 120. That was with a regular rock. Could you imagine what I could do with my full power? Smash. Oh no, that knife was worthless. Well, I'm going to try to reshuffle. Oh, in this game, I forgot to upgrade Undying, so she was just kind of ignoring Muffet. Whoops. There you go, level 3 Undying. 
Maybe I overinvested this time around. I might have. But it's fine. Mad Mimi will still keep increasing my income. So I should at least make a good chunk of the money back. Shoot. We have to think about this. Let's get a critical here. Dang, they hit me. This time around they're dead, but I was really hoping they wouldn't hit me. Please give me something good. Yeah, I need the heal, unfortunately. Ooh. More bombs, or walls. Let's go more bombs. It makes our bombs weaker, but more plentiful. So Metatony X will be coming soon. Oh my gosh, if Mad Mimi increases their value, apparently they give like... Yeah, several thousand to death. That's terrific. Yeah, can't take the mental mantle, can you? Let's aim for the back. And then fire off a weak rock. Okay, see? Didn't harm them much. now we're going to fire straight down with now the green slime thing being out and ready to fight bomb dead hello metatony x i think we have you handled yeah you're handled Let's really quickly prioritize taking care of more of these enemies. This will cause us to shuffle. Okay, it's this map again. I hate this one. Please stop giving it to me. Okay, uh... Shiren, you drop here. Glide, you drop here at level 4. And then I need my decoys around for Undyne. We'll get two more decoys. Just because. Or one, three more. There we go. So where were we here? Right, you look a little stronger than your friends. So I'm going to refresh everything. Set things up for a powerful knife attack. And what do you know? A critical right where it's easy for me to hit. So as long as I get a sufficient amount of bounces, you will be taking immense damage. Oh, you're not just taking immense damage, you're dead. Goodbye. Upgrade Undyne. Yellow yeah, 4 Glide won't be bypassed. Okay, I'm feeling safe enough to upgrade a rock. Refreshes providing crits is nice, but I want my bombs to deal 20 extra damage. Since this decreased it by 15, 20 means they're actually dealing 55 now. And I have a lot of bombs to use. Between every 30 hits generating one, it refreshes generating another. Okay, and since my mental mantle's targeting this mole gopher thing, I can deal small amounts of damage to it even through the tree. Upgraded Undying. There we go. keep bouncing. I need kill this thing. If I... There we go. Two bombs plus rock to the tree. Hello. 
You got nice and close. Thank you. Now I just need a critical, and this will deal tons of damage. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 224. And you hit me, so you take more damage. Let's get a bomb going. That sounds fun for the whole family. Bomb plus rock. I'm going to place two Snowdrake bombs right around here to slow down enemies. I'm hoping it helps. Yeah, light up that one. And... dead. Skip. No more discards, but my orbs are all stronger. I'll risk it. It's definitely a risk. Discards have a lot of potential. There are many times where you don't want to use an orb, and you want to use an orb afterwards. You want to hurry over to a new orb. But plus two plus two is pretty big. As you can see, this now does 710. Let's see. So yeah, now I can't discard anymore. There are ways for me to regain a discard, but for the time being, I don't have access to them. I'm going to slip a stone in that little opening. That didn't actually go anywhere. I thought it was going to do more. You know what? Let's make this just a little bigger. There we go. Dead. Oh, you jump on me. That's a huge mistake. You just damaged all of your friends. How could you damage all your friends like that? That's so mean. It's so cruel. There we go. And the knife gets fully charged up. Oh, you poor rock creatures. You don't know what you've unleashed. Triple bomb. Dead. Oh no, you just hurt yourselves again. You're so clumsy. Well, don't worry. Your old friend Flowey can make a replacement for you. Dead. And you jump on me and die. Well, I feel bad for that thing. It didn't even realize it was dying. Okay, so now this is a pretty big choice. Also, let's take a look here. How have things been going in the less important game? Nothing's really happening. I'm sure Undyne sold... Oh, I hate you, Undyne. Yeah, thanks for selling. Shiren, I really appreciate it. Anyway. I have a lot of unknown encounters to the right, which appeals to me, but I have three guaranteed relics to the left. We have perfect RNG. I, that side could be better, but I have no way to guarantee I'll get the luck I need on the right side. I have far more guaranteed for the side I want to go. I'm actually fine with taking damage there. It's better than going to the side I don't want to be on. Okay, we're almost through. Dang, I didn't want to take two hits, but if I must... Oh, here's Muffet. Hi, Muffet. But you need to be targeting strongest. Stop targeting spiders. Who cares about spiders? Target the person who's trying to kill you. Shoot. Undying level 4. 
Hit her 3,000 per hit. Is it enough? Level 5 Snowdrake's mom. Okay, the slow helped keep her in Undyne's range. So where was I? Oh yeah, I'll take this bribe. Okay, cheese. I won't be able to get much value out of that cheese. At best, I'll get maybe 20 damage per thing out of it. Which could be worse. Oh right, I can't discard anymore. I'm stuck with this weak rock. Dang, that was a really bad first turn. Yeah, hit me with your bow, please, so you can hit your teammate. It even damages the shield, it's beautiful. Okay, another bomb. Okay. Oh, look at that. Each refresh just summons more explosives for me to use against these enemies. Oh my gosh. This rock is doing really well at staying in the arena. There. Okay. That killed all of them. One enemy comes out and immediately dies. Yeah, let's upgrade another rock. Okay, now this is actually the part where I'm a little worried. Undyne's doing her best against Metaton, but Metaton seems to be able to take a lot of hits here. What are we working with? I'll go for it. I should have done this before, but I, I was hoping Snowdrake would allow me to not. There. Dealt with. Okay, well, that's wave 20 taken care of. I'm still only on the second world, meaning I need to get my act together. I'm actually going to move Undyne. No, I'm not. I'll, I'll put her here. That's my compromise. Here we go. Level 5 Shiren, decoy, 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 decoy. Decoy, decoy. It's so a ton of stray units that don't matter. That way I get full value out of what does matter. Okay. And with that, I think we're ready to go back. What am I doing? I'm going to the right. I am furious. I am furious now. Are you kidding me? I needed to go to the right. And you take me to the left? Okay, okay. This better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. You hear me, game? This better be worth it. Okay, we're bouncing around. All right. A passable first throw. bounce around more. Light the bomb. Keep bouncing. Let's see. Boom. And... dead. Heal. 
the Atorial was dealt with, as you can see. Mad Mimi is now level 3, and about to be level 4. Come on. One more hit and you're level 4. There we go. So that's times 2 value of out of enemies. Also, Undyne, you're level 3. And I'm thinking we'll bring you to level 4 too. In fact, I'll probably just bring you to level 5 each time. From this point on. Level 5 Undying should get me pretty far. Yeah, I think I'll just give up the weak stone <laughs> to upgrade the good stone. Oh boy, it's this hand creature. Well, I need to do something. I'll throw a stone. Okay, 203 damage. Then let's go... Throw a critical knife. This one, depending on how things go, could deal insane damage. The enemy has 2500 max health, but yeah, we do... What, 20% uh, of it? Maybe 25%? That rock was not anywhere near as effective. Two more bombs. You're approaching, I don't like that. Darn it, okay. I'm getting a lot of pitiful attacks. Come on. I need to get to those refreshes. Here we go, I think I might get at one of the refreshes. Nope, I skillfully evaded all of the refreshes. Here we go, I got it. Now that I've gotten the refresh, I can get the big damage too. 500 plus bombs. Dead. How are we doing here? Level 5 Mad Mimu, very nice. And level 5 Undying. A bit more annoying, honestly. I really hope it's worth it. Okay, I think we're holding on for now. So I think I can go back to the important game. Oh, look at that! Multi ball. Yes, I want multi ball. Walls contribute to damage or prevent the first instance of damage. Let's go, amulet. Down we go. Treasure! That's not my favorite kind of treasure, but I'll take it. We're going to go to the right because we can get an upgrade from the enemy. Yeah, Undying's making short work out of any enemy that dares try to get through. Okay. Broke the shield, but if there's any range. Just the mage, okay. There we go, 200. Dead. And if any luck, the mage will strike me and hurt their allies. There we go. 
and the amount of bombs in the middle increases. Want to hit me again? You do? Okay. Not sure why you keep doing that. I think you would have noticed that each time you do that, all of your friends get out of it far from unscathed. Maybe you're working with me. That would make sense. Hello, Asgore. Well, Asgore, I want to kill you, so please die. So where were we here? Right, multi-ball. Doing twice as many bounces. Hopefully. Only one bomb. Okay. Oh, you healed instead. Okay. Seems logical. Well, now you're gonna die to bomb. Okay. Not quite the victory method I was aiming for, but it works. Disappear. Upgrade. Multiball 2. Let's go. Right. I I almost thought it was going right, but then that happened. And then I had no idea where it was going. There we go. We scored right. Over here we got Asgore. Very nice. Now we just need to figure out how to win the whole game. Okay. Uh, Mad Mew Mew. Glide. Level 4. Shiren. Level 5. And then our decoys. Yeah, they have enough health to not die to Snowdrake Moms, so I can place them along and not have to worry about anything. There we go. So our decoys are set up. Now let's go back to the main gameplay. Ooh, if I'm ever near death, I deal tons of damage. Okay. I don't want that to ever be a situation that comes up, but at least if my higher maximum health. No, I don't want more stones. The only time that could be beneficial is if I was running the obelisk weapon, but even then, the obelisk weapon is not very good. I feel like it should be a hit all weapon if it's going to take up so much space. Alright, you're all approaching me. Then I will approach you with my four multi-bowls. Two bombs, too. Dead. Alright, you're still getting closer. Bad idea. Bad idea, my friend. Dead. Toriel got further than I would like. Nice job, Toriel. Only 28? That means you actually get a chance to get closer. Dead. And down. What is this? Oh. Oh. Shoot. I have to accept it. Well, now it's near impossible to be at 25% of my health. Because in order to get that low, well... 
yeah, it's not happening. Duplicate a random orb, probably, yeah. Please don't be something bad. Okay, the dagger I can maybe get usage out of since, you know, criticals. Oh, nice. First turn, we get to murder a lot of their health pool. Between the mantle and the ingot. Yeah, they take a lot of damage. Sure, most of my orbs fell through quickly, but there's one that's keeping them dying. Oh yeah, also bombs. Sure, you hit me on the first turn. That's not exactly pleasant. But you know what's less pleasant? Getting hit by this knife. Now imagine if this knife was a critical. <laughs> then it would be unstoppable. Hey, could you could you hit a critical? Nope. Okay. Dead. Well, while you're at it, hit as many of those little pegs as you can to help set up for a good refresh. Rock. This is the time to get a critical, come on. There, that's a critical. Shoot, I didn't account for the fact that it doesn't have many things to bounce off of. Yeah, it doesn't even <laughs> hit the actual threat. How are we doing here? Fantastic, from what I can tell. Let's go level 5 Undyne. I don't need to worry about anything for a bit if I do that. Okay. So you launch your little murder device. Well, I launch my rock. I think that's a good exchange. What do you say? Murder device versus rock? Bomb. Rock. One health. Okay. <laughs> but then hitting me killed it. Okay, that's fantastic. Every shot has multi-ball. That I love, but I'm not sure I'd actually like it. Honestly, Glorious Suffering is clearly the better choice. Alright, let's keep going. Heading down. Hello, enemies. You're stronger than I remember you being. What's that about? Why are you stronger? How did you get stronger? You don't want to explain it? Fine. You won't explain it, I'll just kill you, and then it won't matter. Five hundred and sixty plus bombs, you're done. Okay, I bet you think that since it took multiple shots to kill your friend, it'll take multiple shots to kill you. What you didn't account for was multi-ball. Multi-ball. Multiple. Hmm. Skip. Straight down. Okay, Undying is taking care of everything over there. We need to focus on progress. Right? Is Undying handling everything? Yeah, Muffet is dead. Metaton EX might be a little problem though, so we do need to keep our eye out on Metaton. Bomb. 
Storms plus Shattered Mirror because Rock. Let me think. How can I ensure nothing goes wrong? Let's A, place a glide on both sides. And then we need something more concrete. Lemon bread, level 5. I think level 5 lemon bread should be able to repel Metatoniax with the help of Undying. Okay, no choice but to go straight down. Unless you know you want to do this, this game. Thank you, okay. Can I, can I go down now? Can I, okay. Can I go down now? Can I, can I, can I go down? Thank you. Okay, let's take a look at Metatoni X here. 147,000 health. Don't worry about the weaker ones, Undyne. Just focus the strongest. It saves time and energy that way. Okay, I need you to get a hit on Metaton. Honestly, I think Lemon Bread didn't even notice him. Shoot. Lemon bread back here, level 5. Wait, was lemon bread really a waste? Okay, that was a waste of money. That's unfortunate, but I could not have known that lemon bread was not needed. Let's see. You go here. And then you go here. I'll go ahead and boost you up with Shiren on both sides. Then I'll place my decoys around. To lower the chance that anything I care about gets targeted. You go right here at level 4. Level 2. Level 2. And soon enough, you'll be level 3, won't you? Soon enough. That's when you start giving at least a little bit of gold. 20% not big. 50% huge. All right. There you go, level three, level three. Okay, I think we are... Oh, wait, I'll change targeting to strongest because I think Glide can handle the weaker ones. Shoot, Toriel's getting bulky. I need to keep an eye on Toriel, otherwise she might actually overwhelm me one of these rounds. But I think I can handle her right now. Yeah, there's no way Toriel gets through. She'll get at least one more heal in, but then she'll be brought down. So we can focus on the other side now. Okay. Rock. Yes, please damage yourselves, but don't damage me. Damaging me is the opposite of okay. Please tell me those bomb guys aren't fast. They're fast. Gosh. Just try to ignite the red bomb. I didn't ignite it. Shoot. Well, I set it. 
I lit it, but I didn't detonate it. Shoot. There we go, multi bow. You are my last hope. Please, multi bow. Two red bombs, okay. Dead. Another multi bow, yes. How are we doing here? Undyne level 4. Mad Mew Mew level 4. Which way am I going? You can easily switch paths, so it's not a huge influence, but right is the ultimate path. Okay, so let's go right, left, right, and then left, right, no, right, left, right, and then right, left, 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 left. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I thought I lost control for a moment. You know, there should be an artifact where you just choose which way you go. That'd be an interesting. Maybe not the best thing in the world, but... Oh gosh. Randomly remove half? That's... That could be a run-under. I can't. I can't. Mirror orb? Which one's that? Okay. Please, no. Gosh, okay. It could be at a worse time that, that the game does that, I will say. Here we go. Looks like it transformed into a rock, not exactly surprising. The sheer amount of rocks that I own. I just need to hope that for a major encounter, it turns into something more useful. Bomb. You all will approach. This is not the powerful multi ball, but it's still a multi ball. Oh, that hurt me. And now, the real threat to the enemies. Will that be enough bombs? It will. Then the next one comes out, immediately dies. Nope, level 5. Any second now she's going to kill a tower. There are plenty of towers I don't want it to be. Gosh, that was one of my upgraded Shirens. Okay. Well, nothing else was slain. Let's measure our efficiency with Muffet. Oh, wow. Another multi. Okay. I get the impression I should go left. Hopefully my mirror orb decides to be more reasonable and turn into a multi-orb. Since now I have so many of them. Nope, it turned into something else. I have three knives, it turned into a knife. Okay. We can bludgeon the spider. Here we go. One of the orbs I actually like. Multi-orb. It'd be nice if I could upgrade it, but I'm going to need 
some encounters where I get the upgrade option. Also, the one thing that lets me discard would be positively fantastic. Because discarding would allow me to get more control over the situation. Strike one, strike two. Yeah, I see that the refreshes are lower down. There we go. Now I can full heal and take you all out. Well, Muffet's down. Didn't even get to see her die. Just to play it completely safe, level 5 Lemon Bread right here, in case I'm not paying attention when Metaton comes out. Yes, please upgrade. Now I need to go to the right. Thank goodness, I managed to get to the right. You know, maybe to play it safe, I should primarily focus the right on this battle. If I can control that, I will try. Blast, and hit the mirror. Ouch. Shoot, I'm almost dead. I don't see anything that will finish me off here since I'm going to kill the mirror. Preferably with bombs since that's always safer. Mirror is dead. You hit me. And multi ball time. Many bombs. Resolved, okay. Level 3 multiple. Here's Metaton. It looks like Undyne has it on her own. I didn't need the lemon bread. Well, it was a safety precaution, not something I was thinking would be super needed. I'm surprised I haven't gotten air only yet. Well, it's all RNG, so you never know what you'll get. This, I could start getting air only every single time. I'm not sure I would like that very much, but it's definitely a possibility. Not this time, though. There. Shiren, level 5. And now our decoys. Okay. Now our next wave of decoys. More Shirens, too. I'm thinking I'll, I'll actually upgrade those moms, make them actually deal a little bit of damage. Level 3, plus. Level 3, okay. That's a great wave 36 to begin with. Now we just need to kill Toriel, who is going to be stubborn, I'm sure. Oh, I'm lagging. Well, Toriel's dying, so that's really all that matters, right? Okay, so I need to go to the right. Boom. To the right. 
Whoops, I didn't show that on the screen. Well, I managed to the right. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't like refusing anything, but I'm going to refuse that one. Level 4. Level 4, start targeting strongest now. I need to place a glide, don't I? Let's just make you level 5, sure. That will increase your effectiveness, won't it? Okay, back in here. You look sort of threatening. I have four multiples. I think it duplicated one. Unfortunately, it duplicated the weakest one. Bomb plus multi strike. Rock. Strike again. Now you're about to get up close. Right in time for the bigger attack. Yep, the mantle plus ingot are beating you up. Oh, but you're alive. Enough to hit me one time. But it's my turn to strike, and I'm striking back. Okay, we are fine here. Fantastic. Heck no, skip. Please, please, thank you. Okay, level 5 Mad Mew Mew. And hopefully we can get level 5 Undying. There we go. Back over. Gosh, I'm I'm really hoping I can actually win this time. I think I've managed to reach wave 38. While still being alive in this game. Okay, let's just throw it. I can't see anything. There are ways to see the pegs here, but I don't have the items that would enable that. Bombs? Yeah. As you can see, there are a lot of things around here. Well, hitting me won't help you much. Here we go. We can get enough bombs off. We should clear them all out. Okay, only a couple left bouncing in the darkness. That one enemy just keeps absorbing my mantle and ingot damage. There we go. So let's see that huge stream of bombs. Yeah, none of them could handle it. Hotland's going fine. Was anything sold? No, it looks like Undyne died without a fight. Yes. Let's make criticals refresh the board. That should increase the potential I have for attacks. None of them. I don't care. You see, that looks nice and all, but no.
All right. There are so many explosives around here. You know what? Fine, let's go for it. No fear. Let's detonate some. Oh, you want to get closer to me. You didn't learn your lesson from that warning shot? Okay. Maybe this time you'll learn your lesson. I really hope you do, because otherwise, the next lesson you learn might hurt. Bombs. So did you learn? No, you didn't? Okay. Well, here's your last chance. Oh, but no, you still come in. Okay. Now the multi-ball is going to show you what happens if you refuse to cooperate. Hello, Metaton. Will Glide handle you? Yes, Glide will. Okay. So Metaton's the biggest threat here. But I'm trusting Undying to handle it. Metaton's also taking light amounts of damage from other sources, but I do mean light. Yeah, we should be good there. Two of you left. Knife plus bomb. There we go. Let's take those heals. Rock. Here we go. Alright, I think I'll take a little bit of damage from the bomb I lit up. Oh yeah, definitely. But it's all for the greater good, right? Oh no. Um... Undying... Mad Mew Mew... Shiren... Let's see... Glide, level 5. Level 2, level 2. Now I need Undying Decoys. That should pass. I'm going to place a second level 5 Glide, actually. For safety reasons. And I think they'll... Okay, actually, no. One more safety precaution. Level 5 Shiren here. Then Lemon Bread level 5 targeting strongest. And that should be enough. Okay, we're going to upgrade the multi bow. We have one more encounter before the big boss. One more chance to get some loot. That will decide the outcome of our run. Or it might decide it anyway. If we get something good, we probably win. If we get something bad, we might lose. Oh wow, I think one of my level 3s got duplicated. Very nice. How many bombs? Not as many as I was hoping. I don't like that icon. I'm going to try to kill you right here. Did it work? Probably not. Not that it's I'm weak, but it's not 
incredibly weak. Bombs plus knife, you're dead. Heal and yes, I want refreshes to provide criticals. Here we go, are you all ready? Oh, also, level 4 Undyne, level 4 Mad Mimeo. Shoot, I let you grow stronger, or get further than you should have gotten. Let's get Reaper Bird to assist to help counteract your healing. There we go, now you can't keep up with the damage, Toriel, between everyone striking you at once. purple. Okay, we did not get the weaponry I would like to start with. So we'll have to make do. The bombs at least damage all of them. Yep, you like to do that purple, don't you? Bombs. Break. And now I actually get to attack purple. Here we go. These two strike chances I get on purple need to be good. Okay, only one of them is a multi ball, and unfortunately, it's only a level two one. I need the this one here to be the top. Here we go. 1,000 damage. It will have to do. They are getting stronger. That's not good. It's getting more difficult for me to keep up with them. Purple, please die. I will go for this one. Okay, this is my strongest possible setup with multi ball four. Yep, purple's dead. Or actually, no, purple isn't. Whoever takes the hit, probably blue, is dead. Oh my gosh, 9,000. It's over 9,000! The meme! What's the scouter say about the power level? It's over 9,000. Okay. So, stream of bombs. And the last one's gone. Okay. Don't make us say it. Understandable. Okay, level 5, level 5. So wait, I just won. I just won! <gasps> wait a minute, I just won! D don't you know what that means? I beat the challenge! And it only took me 43 endless waves to complete Peglin. Okay, I'm really proud of myself. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll see you all next time. I'd continue until I lose an endless, but that would probably take me a while. And I don't really want to do that. So yeah, see you all next time. Thanks for watching.